Zaporizhia, if we can start there. It got worldwide attention in the last month for all the wrong reasons, as you know. Have you been in contact with the staff there? Can you give me some insight into their working conditions and any reason to believe their well-being could impact the safety of that operation? Well, you have this very peculiar, unique situation where you have uh, the, the plant itself is being operated by the, the normal uh, um, rightful operators, the Ukrainian uh, staff. But at the same time, you have, uh, you have security forces that are controlling the perimeter and, and in fact, uh, the, the, the main activities uh, uh, on site. We are in constant contact with the Ukrainian authorities, the, the Ukrainian nuclear uh, regulator and uh, the staff as well through our emergency uh, center here at the, the IAA, which is the one that is producing every day. You may have seen those updates on what is the situation. So we're in contact with them. We know, and I was reporting this uh, uh, yesterday, we know that the situation, the morale of the staff is very low. They, they feel the pressure. It's been a long time. And you may remember that on the night from the third to, to from March 3rd to 4th, there was a violent episode inside the site where um, an adjacent building to one of the reactors was under fire. And there was a fire after that, which had to be contained. So there's been a lot of there's been a lot of uh, stress. This continues, and it's not uh, sustainable uh, like this. So this is also something that I was discussing uh, in my trip to to Ukraine, yep. um, and and trying to find solutions in case, as we see, uh, this conflict prolongs itself, does not come to uh, to an end, uh, and there's no end in sight, at least for now. Uh, we have to um, look to be looking at the safety and the security and also allow me uh, to add one 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 uh, additional point which is the safeguards we need to perform inspections there normally it's six reactors as i said a lot of nuclear material uh, there so our safeguards inspectors need to go there um, would, would have needed to, to be there under normal circumstances. So now we have to see how to, to do that. Otherwise, we will lose what we call in the, in, in the jargon the continuity of knowledge. We will not be able to know exactly what happened with the nuclear material um, in, you know, within a period of time. And this, of course, could lend itself to questions in the future. So uh, lots, lots of worries we have. We are working. Um, we are in contact. Uh, we are talking to everybody. This is very important to maintain the channels of communication. Uh, and we are trying also to set up a physical operation of the IAEA there at, at different plants.